Hello, this is Kim Caldwell, and today I wanted to talk to you about a subject that is um, starting to become a little more prevalent, and um, it is entities, ent entity attachments. Um, I want to first start by saying we are not going to go any fear-based energy here. We're just going to go into the knowing that as we become more conscious that this is um, something that does go on, um, we can be um, more proficient in clearing it out of our reality if that is what we so choose. Um, how would an entity attachment look would be the first question on a person. Okay, it would look like a lot of really heavy, a lot of really hard feelings, um, depression. It would look like um, uh, any mind state that feels really yucky. It is possible that there are entities involved. And since entities are not something we see, they're like invisible, which... Um, we all know that just because we cannot see something does not mean it does not exist. Um, we are dealing with um, five senses, but now as people's third eye is awakening, we're becoming more conscious that something is up, that humans are not the top of the food chain, and that um, there are entities that feed off of and benefit when a person is having a really hard time. Once a person understands this, they can um, start working with different exercises, procedures, however you want to call it, to help um, eradicate this, to help get rid of it. Um, with that said, there are, um, luckily, there's more and more people coming out and discussing this subject, um, especially in the energetic field, so united we stand. This is a good thing. With that said, we're all new to this. Most are new to this. Most are students. There are um, a few people who I have found, who I have studied, that I consider um, so far the best that I've found. That doesn't mean there are not more amazing people out there who are doing it that I haven't come in contact yet. So if you know anyone, please feel free to list them. If you know any techniques, please feel free to share them here with us. Um, it's a vast, vast subject. It goes into managing our energy. It goes into being aware. It goes into staying conscious. But the techniques that I have found that work the best are definitely the breath work. And, you know, breath work has been used for thousands and thousands of years. Um, back to the, the Vedas and back to, um, you know, the beauty of yoga and the beauty of um, different practices. So definitely check into some breath work. Um, I think that a person who is doing a beneficial breath work program will be less likely to um, endure as many entities. Um, I think that as a person becomes aware that there are entities feeding off of them when they're in a bad mood, when they're feeling really sad, I think that as a person becomes aware and we start waking up and we start asking the questions, the answers do come. I don't think this is a new thing. I think that probably humans have dealt with this um, as long as there's been humans in the sense that um, it's, it's, it's something that we will learn to deal with now. I think it is new as far as people discussing it um, and working with it at this time. So that is my way of saying um, you are a pioneer. If you are here, you are a leader, you are a pioneer, and you are going to find just as many amazing ways to deal with this as anyone else. Um, as far as having someone else remove the entities for you, in the beginning, if that's something a person needs to do, more power to them. But um, for sustainability, for being able to move through the rest of our life um, in a great place, we really want to learn techniques to do this for ourselves. Um, the best technique to do it for myself, I've found, is the breath work, and we'll go over a few tips with that in um, different videos. I did make another video on breath work, but did not call it for releasing entities, as I wasn't sure I was ready to go there yet, but here we are. We're ready to go. So I'm going to um, link that video to you, and um, just know when I'm discussing removing depression, I'm actually talking about you can also use it not only for depression, but you can also use breathing techniques to 
remove entities as well. Powerful, strong. When you start getting into your breathing processes, when you start counting your breaths, when you start stopping and taking deep breaths and becoming conscious all around you, when you start using the breath with intention, when you're taking a deep healing breath in, counting to 10, and you're saying to yourself, I drain anything that is not for my highest good. I drain anything that is not serving me. This is powerful. And we do this. There's a process of um, a book. A, a guy, I like him to show his book. This is an author named John Kreider. He has many books. You might want to check him out. He goes into draining negative entities. Draining, I don't like the word negative in the sense he, he let's call them non-beneficial entities in the sense that, um, we're just getting rid of the things that are not for our benefit. Things that are, are for our benefit, we, we, we're, we're keeping anything that is for our highest good. Okay, I want to mention two, um, we won't go too far into this. We're going to have a couple videos. We're going to do it quick. We're going to get it easy. But, oh, I want to mention this, and I'll probably mention this in every video. One of the people that I love, one of the energy healers that I feel does an amazing job, and he has um, classes that all you have to do is donate. So that is accessible to anyone. And I'm going to put his information at the bottom here so that you can get to those classes if you need to, so you can know you're not alone. I want to mention this, though. He says that anytime someone feels um, like they don't want to be on Earth anymore, like they don't want to live anymore, that is an entity attachment. I say this not because I'm a doctor or anything. I say this because this gives a person hope that they can look at a different way of removing this problem. Of course, always check with your doctor, always work with people and reach out. There's nothing, depression is nothing to be ashamed of. None of this is anything to be ashamed of. It's something that we reach out and we get help for. All of us are comfortable getting help in different ways. Um, my advice on getting help is work with people who are non-judgmental and who uh, stay in a supportive mode. Um, one of the best ways um, I have found to get help from people is when they're non-judgmental and really great at what they do. And referrals are great too. If you see a lot of great referrals, that's probably a good sign. Burps are energy shifts. We're going up. All right, I would like to do more videos on this. I would like to work with you on this. I'd like to get into some meat and potatoes. But if you want some meat and potatoes right now, work with the video that I did on the breath work, which um, that process came from, from John Crider. Um, it's simple. It's easy. I definitely suggest his books. He's got tons of great information in there. Um, second, I would definitely um, uh, work with um, the healer that I'm going to put his name below. Um, while it's free. I'm not listing his name because he might not always want to do it where it's free, so I don't want to get into that, but I am going to put his um, link there. Um, and um, just your first wake-up call in consciousness. Um, when you first hear this, of course it's uncomfortable and no one wants to hear it, but know that you're not alone. Know that together we stand. Know that um, people are waking up all over to this and that... Um, Staying awake, staying aware, and calling for help. You know, with the Archangel, Archangelology series, which is a gift to you over at Together Publishing, if you call them, they will come. Call for the help, and it will come. And um, just know that um, this is nothing to be afraid of. It's just another thing that we're going to learn how to deal with and how to handle. I hope this helps you in marvelous, amazing ways. I send you peace and blessings, and get ready for the next video, because it's coming. Thank you, Kim.